So here I just want to show the difference between tariffs and quotas for small countries and in international economics. Now remember, a small country means that it's unable to affect the world price of a good or whatever it's selling. A large country can affect the price, and so that's not GDP, it's not population, it's not land area, it has the ability to affect the world price. All right. Um, one thing that I always try to, comp if I'm going to use principles of micro uh, to explain this, if you think back to a perfectly competitive market with infinitely small firms, basically they have this, this flat or infinitely elastic demand curve because they can't affect the price. That is similar for this country in world trade, right? So the United States would be a large country for many goods, but there's a lot of small countries in the world, all right? Now, what one thing here, now already I've talked about all the different triangles, deadweight loss, government revenue, etc. Here I'm just going to focus on the external market or the world market. So what you can do is you can take the supply and demand. Here you've got autarky and here you've got the world price. I'm going to map this over here and I'm going to make the world market. Okay, and there's going to be export supply and import demand. All right, notice this is not upward sloping, remember because it's a small country. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the gap between these two curves, and I'm gonna measure that distance, and I'm gonna plot it over here. So here there's zero gap, right? So there's zero exports and imports. And then as the price drops, this country's gonna import more and more, and so this import quantity keeps growing until finally you get to this point here, which should be the exact same distance as the gap here. So this is simply the exports and imports of that good. So this is world exports, right, which is going to be purchased, and that's going to equal this country's imports that grow as the price drops, okay? So this is the home country, and this is the world market. Now, here you can compare autarky, free trade, and a tariff. Remember, that's an increased price in the, in the imported good, and we've already talked about why a country might want to do this. Okay, so here you have autarky where there's no imports, and then with this world price here, which I just sort of gave you, you have all these imports here, out here, but now they're gonna have a tariff. They're gonna raise the price to block some of those imports, and that's gonna raise that price, and that's gonna reduce the quantity of imports, and that's actually the goal, right? You're gonna raise revenue off of it, but you're also gonna restrict imports, and that's done by a lot of countries as a protectionist measure. Now, what that does is it shrinks this big triangle, which is consumer surplus. Remember, this is the same triangle, right, to increase consumer surplus, because if you go from no trade to free trade, you're gonna increase consumer welfare. And because the formula for a triangle is one half base times height, it's got the same height and the same base. This is the exact same triangle, even though it's more of a right triangle, okay? Now, this consumer surplus still exists. The rest of it is no longer consumer surplus. Now, this part of it is dead weight loss, okay? And it's no longer purchased, right? And so consumers cannot enjoy a product that they're not purchasing. Their consumer surplus is gone. It goes to no one. This is just dead weight loss. But this is the new quantity of imports. These are purchased. And this quantity times this height is the tariff revenue. That is given to the government. Okay, so this is government revenue, and it's a rectangle. Or it could look like a square, but remember, height and base don't have to be equal. So this is government revenue on the new post-tariff imports, okay? The loss of imports results in deadweight loss, and this part is unaffected. Now, if you raise the tariff even more, you could completely have zero imports. You could completely cut them off. That's not happening. Now, in the home market, you could say, well, the base here and the height is the same height, and this is the same quantity. This triangle, excuse me, this rectangle is the government revenue, and if you add up these two triangles, it's basically adding up the base. Same height gives you this triangle here. So the two triangles should add up to this, right? I'm focusing here on the world market, All right? Now, a tariff is an increase in the quantity of import and the price of imports okay a tariff is an increase in price to stop imports now you could also have a quota which is a quantity restriction so i'm going to compare tariffs which is the tax with quota and if you draw it like this you get the same result okay you could have a quota and say look we're not going to raise the price to drop quantity we're just going to have a law that says we're going to cut the quantity here that looks like roughly a third we're going to have a new law that says by law, you can only import a third of what you want. Um, this could get the same results because which third gets imported, it's going to wind up raising the price. Anytime you cut the quantity, you raise the price, as you know from economics. So a tariff and quantity, uh, excuse me, a tariff and quota look the same because you can raise the price to lower the quantity, or you can lower the quantity to raise the price. What changes though is if you have any change to the system. So I'm going to draw a demand shift here and say. If you change the original market, 
the original situation, you're not going to have a tariff and quota be equal to each other anymore. They're going to be different. And the big point is that free trade might be better than any kind of a restriction, but if you're going to have a restriction, tariffs are better than quotas. And we say better in terms of welfare. Okay, so this is the original demand. Here's the new demand shift. All right, now two things can happen. You can say just the new price increase, this tariff is here. You can import as much as you want, but the price is still higher. That's the tariff. Or under a quota, you say, nope, the quota is limited. You can only buy so much and the price is going to go up if you're competing for that scarce item. Okay, so here's the tariff. Same tariff increase, but now there's more demand. So that means that at this higher price, you're going to have more purchases, more imports, and this box is government revenue. If these two triangles are the same size as before, they're just moved over. This one is just stretched over to the right. But the government collects more revenue on more imports. And you can draw it over here. Same revenue, same dead weight loss, simply because there's more demand for the product and they're just going to buy more for abroad and pay the tariff for it. Now, what's different here is the quota. The, because there's more demand, people want it more, but this quantity was still restricted by law. That means that only this much can still be bought, but now it's more popular. And we know in economics that if you want something more, you'll pay more for it. And so people are going to compete more. There's more demand. It's just simply going to drive the price up for these limited products, right? Um, and so the government revenue does increase. Um, we, don't, we don't know unless we have actual numbers which is going to be bigger, the, the, top the top rectangle or the bottom. But look at these two triangles. They're much huger than before. So deadweight loss is larger. And so what you can say is that if you have any kind of a trade restriction, you might find that a quota is worse than a tariff because of the fact that this loss of welfare is bigger, welfare is reduced. Okay, so generally speaking, policymakers will prefer tariffs to quotas. Okay, so that's what I did. I kind of mapped over the domestic market into the world market. And we have a model of export supply and import demand. So we made supply and demand for trade. And then we looked at the shapes. We looked at government revenue and welfare in particular. And now we compare a tariff versus a quota. With a tariff, more demand means more imports at the same tariff. And then you can get a shift here, but no loss of welfare. But with a quota, it keeps the quantity the same, but pushes the price up, which can lead to a larger loss of welfare.